you think you can run your mouth about your daughter and blame who, me? It's my fault? Everything that was said was orchestrated by you. What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera here. Bridget was here. And yes, that was an actual clip of us confronting Dung. No, I was not clickbaiting the other day when I told you that in this vlog, we're confronting Dung because we already did. Things have been absolutely crazy the past couple of weeks, you guys. Doug came over to our house and then lied about everything that happened, and now we're gonna have to talk about it. Doug, I don't know why you insistently lie so much. I don't know why you can't be honest for a day. Oh my God, I know. Why can't you be honest one day and continue to be honest the next? Why is it that your number one character trait is lying? It's very freaking weird. It's weird. It's absurd that you don't want a relationship with your daughter, and now we're gonna talk about what happened, and I gotta be honest, you guys, this is not the footage I wanted to use. Nah, man. This was not the plan. See, about a month ago, Dung went on his live stream, and he made up a bunch of heinous, lying about us, and it got under my skin. It got on my nerves. <laughs> of course he did. So I uploaded a video saying this. Because I seen Bridget through the window. <laughs> oh, you know, God. You're standing there at her door, you're looking at a window, and you can see everything inside. But I seen Bridget move from one side to the other, and I'm like, okay, they know I'm here. Now, what you guys aren't aware of is the day that I uploaded that video, Doug showed up to our house. <laughs> I always said that he would not have the to pull into my front yard and knock on the door. I was wrong. He was desperate. He was desperate enough to knock on my front door <laughs> and ask for money. Guys, you are not going to believe this. Let me just show you the ring footage. Nice to see you. Not nice to see you. What do you want? Bridget. <sighs> Bridget, your dad wants to talk to you. I'm going to leave. Leave? Sucks, right? Not really. It doesn't suck to not, your daughter not want to see you? Not when I know the real reason. Which is what? Not you running your dumb mouth? Why don't you stay and talk, Doug? Why don't you stay and talk, dude? I think it's pathetic the way you're talking and treating your daughter, dude. This is embarrassing. You looking in the mirror again, dickhead? Grab the camera, Bridget. Now, I could not let Doug just walk away. No. Right? Like, if this is the only time we have to confront this guy, I need to make sure I get my money's worth. So I had Bridget bring me the camera, and I shoved it in his face. Now... Thank God it wasn't recording for the first, what, three minutes? Yeah. About three, four minutes because it was ugly. It was pretty mean. We were both pretty freaking mean. We were very angry and we said a lot of mean stuff. We let it all out on that bastard. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I mean, we did. We let it all the There was a lot of stuff that needed to be said off camera. Yeah. And we said a lot of it off camera. We're talking about the stuff that he said about my father. The stuff that he said about our grandchildren, about Bridget, and a lot of stuff we said on camera. About but... trying to get Mia taken away from us. Oh, that's on camera, babe. A ton of stuff that we had built up in us that we never even got to say in the first confrontation. We had a lot of stuff. We needed to clear the air, and unfortunately, it came out in screams. See, once I turned on the camera, I had it in my head that I needed to confront this mother But at the same time, all I was actually thinking about was just holding his feet to the fire and getting answers so i didn't record as much as i wanted to but here's the stuff that i did get i haven't burnt every bridge michael you haven't who's left i haven't been your lying. daughter's tired of your lying i haven't been lying what didn't you lie about you know that's the funny thing michael what's everybody to you is a Liar. There's only two people, Doug. You and Charlie. You can't even let go of the simple lie that you snuck into a hospital dressed like a doctor. 
I didn't dress like a doctor. You said you wore scrubs. Scrubs. Oh, okay. That's not dressing like a doctor? No. What were you wearing for like fun? No. Yeah, you pretend you pretended to be a doctor to No. Like, you're a liar, Doug. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Oh yeah, where'd you meet her at, Doug? The our daughter was in our room the entire time. You do know that, right? Of course you wouldn't know that because you weren't invited to the hospital. Are you done? That's fact. Are you done? What else you gotta say? If I'd done anything illegal, I'd have been in jail. I mean, I think I called you in March, and uh, I mean, nothing really changed. Actually, I come by to let you know I was here. As soon as he passed away, it's like he just became this piece of out of nowhere. Decided to buddy up with Charlie, which, by the ask him for help, dude. Go live in North Carolina. I'm not asking y'all for help. Well, someone sent me some clips of your live stream and... I'd ask Bridget if, if Michael would let me talk to her. Hey Bridget, your dad right here wants to talk to you. Ask. Yeah. I'm not asking you for help. You already said you were. You burned the... First things first, what information did I let out? Yep. You're done. What information did I let out, Doug? When she was pregnant. What did I let out? I told you I was pregnant. You didn't. Yes, I did. It's on video. You were on the reveal in video. The when we lot. went to the parking lot. Yes. We went and ate. Look, it's just that a day you told me you were pregnant. Yes, it's on you video. You were pregnant for a week and a half, two weeks before that. Right, because right. you right, right because you weren't there. He was given. <laughs> what information? You know what you did, mm. dog. What are you referring to? You we told you, you on video in yeah. the parking lot. You burned the bridge, not me. I don't talk to you because of you. No, you don't talk to me because of me. Do you hear yourself? Yeah, that's right. I yeah, don't talk to I you do. because of you. Do you hear yourself? Yeah, I do. You spent months. Doug, why are you going to be a child and walk away? You waited for this moment. Nobody's threatening you. We're talking. Do you have cameras recording yes. everything? Exactly. Yes. I'm not going to do already, that. You've already lied by saying you came to our front door and you saw Bridget hiding from you. That never I happened. I did. That never happened, Doug. This is proof that it never happened. No, it happened. I am right here. Your daughter is right there. It happened. We showed up on your front door and we knocked. Your it daughter happened. called you when you said that I wouldn't let you talk to her. It happened. Your lies explode in your face like this. And when you lie like this, it's why you're not going to have a relationship with her. I've told, hey Bridget, how many times have I told you I could give a if you have a relationship with your father? Because I don't. It's your fuck. There you go, walking away. The conversation was starting to go productive. Nope. Yeah, why, why would you stay? It's why, all coming down now. Why would you stay when your daughter wants answers to questions? Why would you, right? I can't answer them. got a camera in my face. I'll put the camera down if you stay and talk. Camera's gone. Yeah. That got intense. Yes. Guys, this got so intense that admittedly some of it I had to remove because I know that YouTube would not be happy with me uploading it. Oh, definitely. <laughs> it was bad. Yeah. However, if you smack the like button and if enough people do it, maybe we'll upload some of it to our Twitter account completely unedited because we know this guy, he's going to say, they cut out the part where I hit Michael in the face, which <laughs> never <laughs> happened. <laughs> So Doug just pulled up to our property. I'm gonna put the camera away for now. Yes. Cut it off. I'll cut it off if you want to talk. We're gonna talk. This got interesting. And that is when we had the majority of our conversation and it honestly went okay. Yeah, it was fine. It went normal. It, it, he kind of started to seem like the old Doug at some point. Yeah. Not it, the entire time. No, there was, yeah, there was like different personalities coming out. Like, it was a dangerous situation. See, Bridget actually had a really good idea. See, when Doug was sitting there talking to us, she said, maybe I should take my phone, sit it up on the hood of his truck, and hit record. So I did. I mean, Doug, regardless, you can't deny the said about your daughter. The Everything that I said came from somewhere, Michael. <laughs> Where? Either a lack, a lack of information coming from you, or information that came from you. I don't know what information I gave. 
because when she was pregnant, when you were saying that she was pregnant, And if I called her and asked, I got no, she's not. From who? That's not true. Not true. Why would she say she wasn't pregnant? I texted you and you were like, I'm a grandfather to Clyde. It's like you were like in denial or some shit. It was weird. And sorry about Clyde, guys. It's whatever. No, it ain't. <laughs> but regardless. We've lost so many in life, including know. alive people. It is what it is anymore. Well, Clyde was like. So your father has a tendency to lie about the way things went down. He'll say this happened or that happened, and he made it up completely. Yeah. So we wanted to make sure he couldn't do that again. Definitely. And we got a lot of weird stuff. Yeah, there's yeah, there's some weird stuff in there. Like for some reason, Dunn kept making these jokes about Bridget and like her dying. Yeah. Right, like I'm gonna bury her up to her neck, or I'm gonna throw her to the swamp to some gators. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, why are you making these jokes? And before he tries to deny that he did it, here's one of them on video. He's a liberal. I'll so. bury you in the backyard. You know, I went out today. I stopped by the old swimming hole down there at Edisto. See how deep it was because I might want to drown you. Huh. You go swimming? You got cinder blocks. Rope. It's cold. fifth personality popping out. Right the there. only truth Dong said was basically those jokes. He wants me unalived. He has that much resentment. Did you just say unalived? You need to stop watching TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> he wants you gone. How about he, that? Yeah, I, he wants I, me gone. For so, and I don't know why you would say stuff like that. Yeah, like this is the first time I've seen him since the confrontation in 2020. Like, Doug, this is a problem. It's these, weird. These are something, this is like something you need to address. It's, it's unsettling. Right, he's made up so much stuff in his head that he resents you for it, and none of it's true. And he wants me unalived. <sighs> God, you said unalived again. <laughs> Stop watching TikTok. You, I'm taking your phone from you. <laughs> now, at one point, we're sitting there talking to Doug, and his phone just insistently keeps ringing. And yeah. he keeps answering it like, troll hotline. And I'm like, what's going on? And he tells us that he put his own phone number out. <laughs> yeah. He, he was like, I leaked my phone number. <laughs> Why did you do that, dude? And I asked him, who keeps calling you? And he says there's this, it was like, I forget the guy's name. It was like some oxymoron or content or... Or, uh, what was it? Oxy got. I think it was clean, like uh, Oxy clean. Oxy was it? Uh, no, oxymoron. Oxy guy or something. I don't remember. Guys, some oxy person kept calling Doug on the phone, and honest to God, I felt bad because he was like shaken. Right, this guy shook Doug to his core. I think. Yes. Like I think that's the reason Doug needed a new hotel was because he thought this guy like followed him to it and he was terrified to sleep there anymore. Yeah. He's talking to this guy on the phone and he finds a way to make us feel sorry for him and he says, "This guy's won't leave me alone. He's troll." He was crying fully that this guy is harassing him and for the first time the conversation starts to turn. Yeah. Because he went from being abrasive and evil and lying to finally starting to come clean and apologize. So whoever you are, Oxy guy, thank you because you broke through his like <laughs> hard exterior. I don't Seriously, know. Seriously, like Doug was crying and shaking when he answered the phone. Why do you keep calling me? It was really weird. Yeah, like this guy really got to him. Now here's where everything went wrong. As I told you guys, this was the day that I uploaded this video. Hello? That were Bridget, she weren't running by. It's me, Bridget. I'm sticking my face in the roof. <laughs> Bridget, I see you. <laughs> now this is not a surprise to Doug. He knew that I was uploading that video because we watched it with him. He watched it and he told me he understood. Right? The guy told me, I get it, I don't care, I just wanna be in your life, I just wanna see my grandchildren. And we left it there. It was a good meeting. We all felt really happy when it was over and I thought that we were reaching a turning point where we could finally have a relationship with her father again. Yeah. Unfortunately, no. That lasted about 20, I don't know, minutes? <laughs> Realistically, about 10 hours. Right? See, this was never the video I wanted to make. 
I had an entirely different video that I was going to upload and all of this footage that I filmed was going to be deleted because I didn't need it. I didn't want it. I didn't like it. Right? I didn't want to confront your dad the way we did. I wanted to do it right. See, we felt bad for Dub because while we're talking to him, he started telling us that he's got nowhere to live and <sighs> no money. So Bridget decided maybe we should get him a hotel and I thought it was a good idea. Yeah. Right? Like the guy needs a place to live. Yeah, and if things are like, if he's trying to squash it and he's like, hey, I'm sorry, I was really wrong. I've still got a heart. The guy apologized to Bridget. He told her that he was sorry for everything that he did. He had tears in his eyes. I believed him. Yeah. He said that he was sorry for everything that he's ever done to her. He said that he was sorry for the lies. He told me he was sorry for the stuff that he said about my father. And I felt moved. Yeah, and he even apologized for all the stuff he said about you. He apologized, and, and honestly, I didn't need the apology, but I was happy to get it. Yeah, of course. Like, it was able to clear up space in my heart to not laugh if he was sleeping under a bridge, because I would have <laughs> if he didn't apologize, okay? He could have been eating a can of Beanie Weenies over an open flame, and I would not have felt any remorse, because this guy said I wasn't there when my father died. Yeah. This guy called my father... Oh, uh, okay. I, I don't even want to talk about it because it gets under my skin and makes me emotional, especially because my father's, like, anniversary of his death is coming up. Yeah. Okay? It really upsets me, but he apologized. And we hugged. Mm hmm And he said he loved me. And he told Bridget he just wants his baby girl back. And we were like, wow, this guy's changed. I guess not. No, definitely not. So I sent him... Uh, $1,400 on Cash App. She sent the guy $1,500 and we found a room for him. Want to guess what happened next? Oh, you guys aren't ready for this. The next morning, Bridget gets a message from her father and he is angry. Yeah, he's, he's furious. He is furious at us because all we did was lie air quote because we lied about absolutely nothing he said we lied about the video that we uploaded even though he watched it with us and was like yeah i get it you know because he has been a piece of crap and he even acknowledged that he told us he understood he told us that he was sorry he told us he understood why we made it and he doesn't care he just wants to make things right he watched the video and then he's mad because it said it makes him look like a liar. But he was. He was lying in the video. Yeah. He never showed up to our house and we hid from him. And I think this is pretty much evidence of that. He was like, you made me look like a liar and you made me look bad. But you are. And we tried to talk to him. I started texting him and I was like, Doug, listen, we watched the video together. Please don't lose sight of what we wanted to do because what we were going to do was go to the hotel we got him and do a Tina style confrontation yeah. the right way where it's not mean and it's not evil and I'm not saying things that I'm going to regret and we can clear the air the right way and then at the end he'll finally be able to meet his grandchildren. Yeah. Because this guy has never met his grandchildren. He has two grandkids that he's never met and he still denies that... <sighs> He still swears to God he came into the hospital dressed like a doctor. And I, I really, I just... I know. Like, I, I can't even. Like, he is defending it to his grave. That he snuck in the hospital wearing scrubs because his nurse friend gave it to him. Which is a felony, by the way. And just not true. God, it's weird. It's the weirdest. He couldn't admit that either at the confrontation. Well, so guess what he did next? He went live about us. Again. Yeah. I've seen the kids. Met the kids. Michael didn't like it when I said, yeah. I met this one twice now. Met that one once. They put enough money for me to stay here for two weeks. Into my cash app. When I got here to check in... Evidently, they decided to go back through their bank and pull half of it back out. That's just them. Okay, you guys. This is his cash out. First, she sent 900 
Then she sends him another 400. Now that says replied with a heart, but for some reason you're so angry at your daughter that you decide to lie and say she took the money back when I just proved that she never did. Oh my God, I don't even like think Cash App has that. Why would we even do that? I know, it's just more we had a good conversation. There was apologies. There were tears, hugs. I shook your hand when you walked out of our house. Yeah. First, he said that we paid him to do the video, which was not true. We did not pay this guy to do the video. The only money he got was because we didn't want him to sleep under a bridge. Yeah, so I got him, you know, two weeks at Endtown. He said we paid him to do the video. He said Bridget got him a hotel, but then took the money back. He said that he went to our backyard and played with our dogs. Never happened. Oh my God. Absolute lie. He said he met Mia and Michael. Oh my He God. said he met the grandkids. They were asleep. Okay, here's proof, by the way. I'm gonna put the kids up for a nap. Don't go anywhere. Let's talk. You're here. Let's do it. Our children were taking a nap while you were here, dude. No, you did not meet your grandchildren. Now you're saying you came to our house and you met them. Oh my God. He's tried to say that I wouldn't let you speak. Well, you can see on the video, you were pretty clearly speaking to the guy. I wish she would talk. Well, I feel like every time, every time Bridget feels like she wants to talk to you, she'll get a live stream clip. Well, same old shit. And you believe everything is on live stream, don't you? Well, you're saying you're it. You're talking it. You're the one saying it. It's not like some fake dog. It's you. No, it's fake. It's you. It's a there, fake. There's not two dongs. Sure there is. <laughs> it's your face. No, it ain't. Speak it. What's the point of this many lies? He tried to say that my brother's getting married and that we said that it wasn't true. What? I don't even care, like. Who cares, dude? The guy can't stop lying. Here's the only conversation we had about that wedding. I don't know if it's before or after his wedding. Okay. Now he's hinting around it. What? He's wanting to come down and try to straighten things out with Mike. It's too. It's, it's hard. Yeah. I'm saying. And it's hard to believe. Not YouTube. I'm saying brother to brother. It, it's too late. I don't understand the purpose of lying this many times if you're trying to work things out with your daughter. Is it that you just don't care? He just needs money. Is that all it is, dude? It's so crazy. It's like he got the money and started running his mouth again. Like it was all an act just for money. We felt bad for you when you're crying when that guy called you and like, I wanted to give you a hug because you were like in tears. I know. And you like spit in my face, dude. You told me you were sorry for the lies you said a bit. I don't care, dude. You know what? It's just, it's wild. It's wild. It makes no sense, you guys. I thought that what this video was going to be was we go to the hotel, we talk, and we were going to invite Doug to Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. Guess not. I know. I don't know why it happened. I don't know why it continues to happen. But I know at some point, if we keep allowing him to do it, we're just gonna be repeating this like cycle of abuse. And one, I love you too much to let you do that. It sucks, I'm so sorry, Bridget. It's fine, I have I grieved and I moved on. By the way, here's a picture Bridget took of me confronting Doug, by the way. Here's what it looked like when I had that camera on his face. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was afraid to answer the door when you knocked. Yeah, right. If you're willing to apologize and admit to the you did, you can come back here and we're gonna confront you again. Yeah. But you're gonna admit what you did because I'm done footing around you being this troll. He's a troll, and he's really gonna be under a bridge. He's a troll. It is what, <laughs> that's where <laughs> trolls go. You wanna be a troll? You do that, man. You get yourself a squirrel, you put it on the end of a stick, and you roast it over an open flame for Christmas dinner. I don't care, it ain't my problem anymore. You are a liar. The stuff that you have done is heinous, and you need to apologize to your daughter before we ever want anything to do with you it's again. shameful. That's gonna be it for today, you guys. Thanks for watching. Like, let me turn it to you. Subscribe. Favorite. On everything, Bridget West. <sighs> I'll be your daddy. Okay. Cover this lens. <laughs>